If you ask a cricket fan, especially an IPL fan, which team has disappointed you right through? Most would have two answers. One would be the Kings 11 Punjab team and the other Royal Challengers Bangalore. Funnily, one of them has started to find answers to all the questions that were being posted since last 12 years. That's RCB. They've started winning games and consistently. The other team, Kings 11 Punjab, everybody thought that they too would have, especially with the start they had this season with the first two, three matches. But then the stay, it's the same old, old story. They are finding it very difficult to finish off matches where they have been on top and off late, they've started losing confidence. Because after all, when you keep losing, you will lose confidence at some point of time. Kings 11 Punjab, when you look at their uh, lineup, it's pretty pretty good, the batting. They are, a person like Chris Gale, if he's sitting out, surely means you've got some firepower. But then, I don't think it's too long. In fact, it's too late because I feel uh, Chris Gale should have been a part of the playing 11 at least two matches before. But uh, he was obviously uh, kept out because of his health, re- health reasons. So he might find a look in this match, but whom to drop would be a big question post. Might be uh, the misfiring Glenn Maxwell or the other person who is not that in good in form, Mujibur Rahman. Both match winners on their day, but they've been having a very inconsistent IPL so far. So definitely it's time for the universe boss to get a look in. Uh, but that would post another question. Who would come down? KL Rahul or Mayang Agarwal? Because the opening combo has been really good. So many questions still for Anil, Anil Kumble and team. Uh, with their bowling lineup as well, uh, Mohammad Chami has found very little support from his bowlers. Sheldon Cottrell had a good start, but then he lost team in between. Ravi Bishnoi has been a revelation, but then he needs to be more consistent. So it's going to be a, a, a problem situation for Kings 11 Punjab, but it's uh, going to be a tough time to climb back uh, on top because they've just got one win so far. Further slips would definitely rule them out of. Uh, the competition so there is no uh, no waiting for uh, kings 11 they need to start winning from today for rcb it's quite a different story uh, they everybody thought that they were going to repeat what they were doing the previous years a decent start then a, a string of couple of losses but then they have pulled things back and one person they should thank is uh, the mr 360 abd villiers he has been really really good for them Especially when you look at the last game they had, they were in a precarious situation uh, on a smallish ground of Sharjah, but then it was the uh, uh, firepower of ABD that changed things. Aaron Finch, Virat Kohli, David Padikal, they have got everything, uh, batting, uh, power, finesse, everything, elegance, you name it. Uh, even in the middle, they have Shivan Dube, Washington Sundar and Chris Morris, uh, his, his addition definitely has boosted firepower. But one thing that has changed for RCB is their bowling. Navdeep Saini, definitely he is growing. He is growing rapidly and he is going to be one of the main bowlers in for India maybe also in future. And he has found support in Washington Sundar and Chahal. Washington Sundar, he has got an economy of near, uh, less than 5 in this year's IPL. And that too after playing all these games. He has played 7 matches so far. And, and especially in the last three games, he's not given more than 20 runs, which actually uh, tells you how good he has been. And Chahal has been picking up wickets. Mohammad Siraj has shown promise. He's a very promising youngster. Uh, but uh, the few last few IPLs, he has disappointed. But this year, he is showing promise. Maybe uh, Saini's progress has rubbed on him too. So Mohammad Siraj too has combined well in the previous game. So he would be hoping to retain his place. But then since this match is being played in Sharjah, there might be a chance of him being uh, benched for someone like a Gurkirat Singh man who is a strong hitter, powerful hitter down the order. So it's a pretty settled RCB versus a very unsettled, still questions to be answered, Kings 11 Punjab. Definitely going to be excitement, especially because this is being played in Sharjah. But the wickets being uh, slow, uh, uh, slower than the initial games, but still it's a small ground nevertheless. Kings 11 Punjab versus RCB, a mouth-watering contest of big hitters waiting in line. Who comes on top? Hopefully for the 
Kings 11 Punjab team it's going to be their team because they cannot lose further but RCB it's a chance to get on top of the table so great night ahead Kings 11 Punjab versus RCB